So the unboxings I've done in the past have all been from the same publisher, but now I find myself um, a little bit behind with some piles of books that I haven't gotten to. So I thought I would just do unboxing videos per pile. So they are um, kind of uh, not by any particular publisher, but um, somewhat in the order received. So this pile actually was the books that I called from many boxes of books that looked particularly interesting to me that I wanted to um, make sure I added to my blog, which I haven't yet. So the first one is by Meg Medina, Newberry Medalist, and illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. Um, Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. Um, and I have a list about like when your, you know, when your best friend moves away um, and you know, the kid who's left behind. And so this will definitely be added to that list. Um, and so, yeah, just a story of friendship and then, and change and, um, you know, coping and sadness, um, you know, when your best friend moves away and what happens. So yeah, look forward, looking forward to reading this. And, um, also just, I really do love the illustrations. Um, the next one is Love is Powerful by Heather Dean Brewer, illustrated by Lee Wen, Lee Yuan Pham, who, you know, Lee, Lee Yuan Pham is probably the most, um, you know, the most deserving illustrator to get more recognition, um, but, you know, who has, you know, illustrated, I mean, like dozens and dozens of books. And because her illustration style is so versatile, you know, you don't always recognize like, oh, this is her book, you know? Um, and I think that's, you know, sort of a blessing and a curse because you, you know, all like the way she illustrates because it's versatile and it's always like really great. You don't, um, you don't always notice. She's like, and I don't think she gets the credit that she deserves. And so this is about um, activism, I think. Um, it sounds like um, Mari and Mama are making a sign and they're going to go to a march. Um, Mari's a little bit nervous, maybe. This is going to the Women's March 2017. Um, but her Mama isn't because... Um, their message is a sign of love and love is powerful. And so, you know, more, um, I mean, from the era of, I guess, 2016 to 2021 of, uh, the Me Too movement, uh, Women's March, um, you know, kind of time where like ordinary citizens who maybe weren't, um, activists, everyone sort of became I'm an activist. This is also by Kennelwood Press. And so, um, I, I mean, myself included, like I went to marches for the first time in my life and I, you know, first I went to one and then I ended up at two or three. Um, but I never had a sign, but you know, I wish I had made signs. Yeah, it takes a certain art to like make a good sign as well. Like, I always like a good sign. And here, yeah, the Women's March, you see all the pink hats. And in fact, this would be a great book to pair with. There's another picture book about a pink hat. I forget what it's called. It literally could be called Pink Cat, but um, about love. So it's not really love is love, LGBT. It's really just more straight up about um, Martin Luther King Jr.'s message about hate cannot drive out hate, only love can. So a particularly great book also can tie this into Martin Luther King Day, Jr. Day, about love. And, um, and here's Mari. So, is Mari the author? So no, but maybe this is about Mari, who actually is a real person. She is, here she is, at this march. And maybe the author captured her story. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I, I love these um, book, uh, sort of uh, hidden figure, uh, picture book biographies and this one is about flying paintings the zoo brothers a story about revolution in art by amy alsnauer 
and paintings by Shan Zhu Zhao and Dao Huang Zhao. I'm, I'm probably butchering their name. And so this seems like it would be about mainland China, Popo, yeah, that would be Chinese. And uh, the China, China's Cultural Revolution, when the bookstore books were burned and art was restricted to calligraphy and images of Mao. And here were boys that were artists and, um, and became painters. And in fact, renowned artists, these brothers who, um, you know, it was a pretty grim time, you know, where, you know, anything you did that wasn't uh, politically sanctioned got ordinary citizens in China into a lot of, um, you know, into like terrible, ter with terrible repercussions. Um, and so this is about these two brothers. And so they actually did the illustrations. So it's almost like um, an autobiography picture book if you take it from an illustration perspective. And like, wow, look how beautiful. And so it's nice to know that like creativity, even in the worst circumstances, like, you know, you read about the, um, the classical pianist in China who practiced, you know, like made his piano silent, but, but continued to, you know, um, play music until he could escape. <laughs> and now he's world renowned. Oh, and so this is, you know, this is their whole story, you know, like their, like their true biography of what happened to them and, and a pretty long, you know, like a lot of times picture book biographies are, you know, like not a lot of words and these are quite a few words. And so, yeah, okay, and so who publishes this? Also Kenwood Press. So it's, uh, it's the artist. Um, dedicated to the grandmother who was an artist and inspired them and so yeah looking forward to reading this and um, I have a cultural revolution I think or a Chi I have some Chinese picture book no, or Chi book list on China and cultural revolution so I'll add it to that okay the next one is northbound a train ride out of segregation by Michael S. Bandy and Eric Stein, illustrated by James E. Ransom, who is awesome. Yeah, he won a ton of awards and deserves many more as well. And so this is Michael and they are leaving their Alabama farm, going to visit cousins in Ohio. And it's the transition of this train ride, uh, Michael and his grandmother, where it's a segregated train in Alabama, but when it gets closer to Ohio, the Jim Crow laws um, oh wait, no, yeah, do the Jim Crow laws go down for a second and then the signs go back up? Oh yeah, it is. So it's about segregation in some states and not in others. Wow, I didn't even know that. But I guess that makes sense. Um, that if a state had different segregation laws, a, a train going through it would be like adjusting. And um, yeah, what a message about racism. Um, and like how arbitrary it is, you know, or... So, um, James Jansen has like these beautiful watercolor illustrations. Yeah, and so it is about, um, sort of like the way they captured the story is Michael and his grandmother are on the train and then he makes a new friend and, um, you know, different rules apply as they as they go on this journey from one state to another. Um, wow. And here we go. Whites, whites only went back up in Tennessee. And then the new friend was like, um, you know, objecting to it. 
and the rules make no sense as you know it shouldn't i mean the rule the, these are um and so this was a uh, author's note talks more about separate but equal um yeah wow so you know what an interesting story for um civil rights movement and one that you know like it's new to me so great so thank you so much um i'm gonna continue but uh i think um that's uh we have 10 minutes for this video and that seems to be um plenty but thank you for watching